Hello, hello guys, how are you? Actually, it has been a very long time since last year, but I'm here and I feel like I have forgotten to stand in front of the camera and actually speak in front of the camera, but I'm going to try. So this time, I am back with a lot, a lot for you. We will be analyzing a silent song and other stories, fathers of nations and actually the other set book which I'm forgetting the name. So today, in this video, we are going to analyze the first story in A Silent Song and Other Stories. And that is A Man of Awesome Power. So you better get ready. A Man of Awesome Power. It is by Nagui Mahfouz from Egypt. And this story is about power. How a person can use power or utilize power if it is given to them when they don't expect it. Assume it's you. You are given the power to do anything that you wish. What could you do? Actually, there are three things involved. You can use the power to do things that will benefit you or things that will benefit the others or you can decide to misuse that power that is to do some evil things so when you come to this book a man of awesome power in this story the main character is Saeed al Mahdi who lives in Nasar city and this man believed that or he thought that his mission in this world has come to an end or has been completed and that was because of two reasons and the first reason he was a retired man he had been working abroad and that is how he acquired his comfortable apartment and the second reason all his four daughters were married and actually according to him or that made him believe that there was nothing uh, that was left for him to do so he could spend time with his wife his wife his, is Hania doing the following things one is actually watching tv uh, reading newspaper and uh, listening to the radio station devoted to the quran so as we can see this man is a religious man and actually we can say a religious man is a good man also before we proceed let us consider his age uh, the fact that all his four daughters were married he is not a young man actually we can say he is an old man somehow old man so moving ahead the man believes that his mission he had no purpose but one night he had a dream and he's in his dream the apparition and an apparition is a ghostly a ghost-like figure the apparition told him and i'm going to read the exact word uh, the apparition told him from that moment onwards and as long as god wills he shall have the power to tell something be and it will be and he was to do with that power whatever pleases him Remember that was just a dream and this man Taib, he dismisses the dream just like all of us do. I had a dream yesterday night, you might remember it in the morning and actually you dismiss it, you forget it or you let it go. But what happened? The same dream keeps on recurring in the same exact form. But then Taib had to confirm whether it is true or actually the recurrent nature of the dream made him want to confirm whether it was true but before we go to the confirmation uh, there is a point to note about the power that uh, about the dream he was given that power to tell something be and it will be so if we put it this or if we relate it to the bible it is God who had that power to tell something be and it, it be. 
like let there be light and the light was formed let there be dark let there be uh, actually the sky so we can see that uh, he was given that godlike power and actually it was his choice to use it whenever he wanted and here it comes three things uh, what I mentioned earlier, you can use that power in a good way, in a bad way, or for your own personal benefit. So let us go back to the confirmation. So Taib had to confirm whether it is true that the power was true. So he had to do two things. And the first thing that he did, he mentally demanded, not just demanded, but mentally demanded uh, the TV station to move from the first channel to the second channel. And it happened. So this man was confused. At the same time, he was elated and he feared. So he had to repeat the process. And the second thing uh, that he did, he ordered the room's chair to rise up and go back to their original position. You see, it's like he was excited now. He has the power. Yes. After confirming that he has the power, he concluded that his mission or his purpose in this world has not ended. In fact, it has not begun. So he decided that he is going to use his new power to reform his country. Taib al Mahdi had to use his power in these three ways. So I want you to identify the way he used uh, his power, uh, the good use of power and the misuse of power. Actually before our next lesson. Today I'm going to talk about how he used actually his power for his own benefit, which can also be categorized as misuse of power. So Taib al Mahdi saw this gorgeous, beautiful lady at the entrance of the tea gardens and he decided to fulfill his sexual or his bodily desires. And it is after that, after fulfilling his sexual desires, that he lost his power. And the story ends with Taib going back home and trying to use his power by ordering the TV to move from one channel to the other, but that did not happen. So this shows that Taib has lost his power, actually because he misused it. Remember the power that he possessed was given to him by God. And the story ends with these words. Now an awesome sadness will haunt Taib al-Mahdi for the rest of his life. So what is the lesson there? If you're given the power by God, you're supposed to use it only in a good way. If you use it in a bad way, he is going to take it the way he took Taib al-Mahdi's power because he misused it. And that is the end of our lesson. But before I leave, I want you to check how Taib al-Mahdi misused his power. We have so many ways and how he used his power in a good way. In the next lesson, we are going to check the themes, actually the themes in this story. So just read the book to understand, identify these things, and then I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. For now, bye-bye.